Here's this year's mule foots. Oh, they're probably pushing 250, maybe 300 pounds. I'd say about 250 pounds is what I think. Let's see if I can zoom in on their feet. Yeah, you can't really see them. I'm watching all these videos about the prepping. I think if Yeah, see there's there's the mule foot. Come here, idiot. I've been seeing videos of prepping. I really think all the food storage in the world isn't going to do you any good if we have a war. You're going to have to have some livestock or you're not going to be sustainable. You, you can store three months worth of food, but if you don't have more and some way to replenish it, you're, you're, really, you're really in trouble. These are two commercial pigs that I'm fattening. They're just about to go in the cooler now. Hi guys. That one right there is probably, this one closest to me is probably pushing, probably pushing 400 plus. That's a big pig. Looks pretty good. And then this here's my guinea hog and some little wild pigs that I've got for uh, dog food and things like that training purposes and there's Ringo the cowardly dog and Doc hi guys there we go there's a shot of his feet see the mule foot call them donkey pigs because they've got the, the donkey foot there But these have got a ways to go. They're eating soybeans and corn. Have to cook the soybeans because it's got a an enzyme in it that will cause them not to grow. <laughs> Obviously, that's not causing them any problems. But these are our drag pins. I I just put this new water trough in here. I had those tubs in there, and they want to take a bath in them every day. And then tubs are expensive, and they destroy them. So now they get this little water trough right here. And I'm going to put a float on it and then hook it to my water truck. And then drag the pins along. But we move these pins out across here when the grass is growing. And that's how they, uh, the, they graze. Then they can't uh, escape. They do tear the, the pasture up. They just destroy it. So in the winter, you got to leave them set in one spot for a while. But then once the grass starts to grow, well, then you start moving it and it'll just fill in behind them. If not, then you'll have this big uh, wasteland out there of nothing but sand. Pretty happy, are you?